Hello everybody, this is an EGG 21 production. Today is episode one of my big project series. So let's open my map and see what I've done. I've done a day of work and stuff to to this project. And let me show you where I am so far. It's what it looks like on the map. Tiny little dot, but it's a bit more than that. It hasn't even rendered the whole map yet. Basically, what I've done is I've done done my perimeter all the way round and put torches on it. Uh, it's my 148 by 108 and 148 perimeter. Also, right in the middle where my core is, I've changed the core for a diamond core because I thought, well, iron or stone isn't good enough it's not good enough to be the core of my world so i changed that to diamond and also i've built the road around my center building now i've come up with the name i've had help from my friends and family trying to find out what name i should call it and i'm going to call it the elfin tower e l f i n just because it's the names of some people <laughs> that's all I'm going to say right <laughs> so here's the where the elfin tower is going to be and I've dug out the basement for it it's about 14 blocks and down there is a little bit more of the basement you can only see a little bit of it so I've decked out or dug out and done a little bit of work to that but I think the most thi the most like the best thing that I've done so far is underneath here, underneath the visible basement at its, as it stands at the moment. So if you go down here, go down the stairs, you come into this dark room here. You see there's the core going through there and I've covered it in glass to say don't touch this, it's the core, it's, it's brilliant. And there's a light switch here which I've set up, I've rigged it up to turn on these redstone lamps in a uh, sort of sequency type thing turns on and off like that just by the flick of a switch or a lever and that's what I've been doing with redstone and all that stuff so without further ado I what I what I've done and what I'm going to be doing is recording absolutely everything that I do uh, and I'm going to pick out little bits of it um, and speed them up uh, so it's not as boring. Do like little 20 second chunks of things that I've been doing and I'm going to explain what I've been doing and it's just going to show you how I've got up to what I've, what I've done so far. So I'll be back in a second I suppose. <laughs> hey again guys. So this is where I started off just marking out my entire um, perimeter. Sorry about the lag, it's because I sped it up, it's a bit laggy, but you know, you're just gonna have to tolerate it. Right, so yeah, I'm marking out my perimeter all the way around, the 148 by 148, and then I'm building it up. So here you, here you see, I'm building it up, and I built it up two, two blocks high. So all the way around, it's two blocks high, except for on the edges, I've done a, little bit on the edges just so I can put you know torches around the edge so that's how how it looks like and talking about torches here we go I put torches all the way around on top of every block uh, filled the entire perimeter with torches so here you see again I've just finished putting all the torches up um, all the way around the entire um, the entire perimeter. Now, what I'm doing, what I did, was uh, mark out where I'm picking the road. So, you see, the outside edge, um, furthest away from the core, is the outside of the road. The inside one, the closest one to the core, is the inside side of the road. And then, right in the middle, um, is where I'm putting my little lines that indicate 
which lane is left and which lane is right. So I filled in um, the whole road with black wool just to show like that it's a road like and then I put um, pavement all the way around uh, on the outside and on the inside edge of the road and I used uh, half blocks of stone. Now my next goal which probably took one of the longest so far is to dig out the entire place, the entire basement where I'm going to have uh, the building. So you see I got bored of just digging so I decided to do a little bit of TNT d demolition. So I used quite a bit of TNT to blow out chunks so it'll make me so it'll make it easier so I don't have to dig as much but it did cause a bit of damage to the road as you've just seen but otherwise I just dug it out it was quite a painful process I think it's 20 by 20 20 length 20 width and then its depth is about 14 blocks so right what I've done is what I was doing was uh, two blocks above from the ground level of the basement I dug out a channel uh, around the edge and filled it with glowstone and this is going to be the wiring for what will be my redstone lights redstone um, lamps as it's called all around the edge so you see I just put the lamps in my inventory then then what I did was I put um, put some redstone circuit stuff so um, it would when I flick the switch it would turn all of the lights on so here we go and every uh, five blocks I think uh, I was going clockwise around the basement every five blocks I would do one of these systems uh, placing the torch down with the repeater and all all of that stuff so I've just slowed this one I think it's this is the one that I slowed down yep I slowed this one down uh, so you can just see a little bit more of what I'm doing. So I just dug out a little bit back, further back, took the redstone uh, dust around there, put a repeater out to follow the signal onto the, or follow the electricity or whatever you want to call it, onto the redstone lamp and um, powered the lamp. So here we go. This is me testing it out. I uh, just sorted out the switch there, uh, put the lamps and wires to the switch there and this is it working this is that was the first time that I tried it and I was like thank god it worked because it took me quite a lot of time so now what I needed to do what I needed to do was to um, fill out the walls to the basement and also put the floors and the ceiling in so this is the ceiling or the floor to the second level of the basement and I also oh this is a bit laggy also what I did was um, filled around the core with the glass and then this is me testing it testing the lights again after putting down the floor then after I put down the floor and the ceiling and tested the lights out a bit uh, I put down some oh that was a bit laggy as well put down the um, stairway so you can get down to the second level of the basement and just guarded it with uh, a few gates and here it is after day one this is how far I've got with my project so I think that's the end of my video so I'm, I'll see you in the second episode. Bye.